A litany of disturbing crimes that happened to nine women at seven crime scenes in six cities. Those crimes occurring over a 15 year time period. Dubbed the NorCal rapist Roy Waller, according to the prosecution, broke into the women's homes, attacked, raped, and sexually assaulted them over the course of hours at a time. Prosecutors say Waller's method of operation was similar in each of the incidents, pointing toward how the victims were attacked, carried, bound, and raped, and how Waller allegedly spoke to them. The things he said, in many incidences, demanding money or ATM cards and pins. Prosecutors also spent closing arguments talking about the DNA evidence that conclusively links Waller to six of the seven crime scenes, telling the jury DNA proves he was there. The similarities in his M.O. are just other pieces of the puzzle to compare, contrast and consider. Defense attorney Joseph Farina's close was spent outlining the ways the prosecution did not prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Waller is the one who committed the crimes. He he acknowledged the similarities among the crimes, but pointed to numerous differences. In a powerful moment at the end of the prosecution's closing arguments, prosecutor Chris Orr showed a surveillance video of the room where Waller was questioned by law enforcement after his arrest in 2018. The video shows Waller attempting to hang himself in that room with the string of his hooded sweatshirt. The prosecution says that Waller's attempt at suicide could be interpreted as an admission of guilt. The defense refutes that. It wrapped up its closing arguments late this afternoon by asking the jury to return not guilty verdicts on all of the counts. Reporting from downtown Sacramento, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News.